Hey guys, so in this video we will be going through what good pivot entries look like versus what okay pivot entries and bad pivot entries look like. And also some techniques you can apply to improve your trade entry quality. So here's the pound yen. On the daily we had a decent green candle at support and we're looking for a pivot entry. So jump into the one hour. We had a break above the 50 EMA and an EMA cross. And what we wanted was a rejection of the 50 EMA and the pivot. What we got was multiple rejections of the 50 EMA, but not the pivot. So in situations like this, you just have to be patient and wait for a follow through candle, meaning a good bullish breakout candle. And make sure you watch the candlestick episode to review this concept. Price then proceeded down and we didn't have an entry. Remember that the fear of missing out on trades is a bad habit to develop as you feel inclined to jump into every trade that presents itself. But as always, taking more trades does not mean more profit. Waiting for high quality trade entries and filtering out the low quality trades is a very important skill to develop. So here's the Euro Yen. We had a good long wick candle rejecting support and the 50 EMA. And we wanted to see a breakout on the one hour time frame before looking for a pivot entry. So here in the one hour time frame, we have a break above the 50 EMA, but we had no EMA cross and no entry presented itself as price proceeded back down. Going into next week, we still have this on our watch list, but as always, we want a clear breakout and an EMA cross before we look for a pivot entry long. Here's the dollar yen. We had a breakout of this trend line but we didn't really like this for a swing trade because the short term trend looks extended. So we were looking for a quick entry long. We have multiple candle rejections of support and the 50 EMA. So jump into the one hour time frame. Here in the one hour, we had a breakout above the 50 EMA and an EMA cross. And we were looking for a clear rejection of the 50 EMA and the pivot, but that didn't come. We had choppiness with no clear entry. So here's the pound dollar and we had daily divergence at support. So let's jump to the one hour. Here in the one hour, we had a breakout and an EMA cross. And as price came down, we were looking for a rejection of both the 50 EMA and the pivot. We had this decent candle here form, but as always, we need to be patient to see how the following candles form. This was followed by multiple choppy candles and we wanted to see a breakout. Price then continued downwards. The best pivot entries are clean without choppiness. And whenever in doubt, always wait for the next candle or candles to see what happens next before an entry. So here was the best pivot entry of the week. This is the pound Swiss. We have daily divergence at an okay level of support. Jump into the four hour. We have divergence as well, a double bottom, and then a breakout, which makes a higher high. So jump into the one hour time frame. Now this is a very key point. The best trades are when you see the 50 EMA lining up right at the pivot, which is exactly what we have here. We then have three candles rejecting and respecting both the 50 EMA and the pivot for a perfect one for one trade entry. The biggest takeaway from this episode is to always be patient. And if the trade doesn't line up with your trading plan, you can always pass on it. Pivot entries come up all the time. So don't try to force anything on the market or you'll bring your strike rate down. Patience is always the answer. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.